so we are discussing about uh, fasteners last uh, class we had uh, bolts and this class we'll see about uh, rivets the rivets are extensively used in aircraft industry and uh, this is a more of a permanent joint or if you want to combine uh, two two mechanical work pieces together in permanently uh, you go for rivets you can also weld weld is a uh, is another permanent joint that you can create and uh, similar to that is rivet okay so i think uh, there are many types of rivets actually uh, the one we'll discuss right now is the uh, snap head rivet okay similar to like how your bolt has got uh, square hexa hexa bolt and square head bolt so you have other po other uh, rivets similar to that so a high button head and pan head and cone head okay uh, we'll see how the specification and uh, other uh, types of riveting goes so in types of rivets there is two rivets called uh, the lap joint and a butt joint so in lap joint when you want to combine two two plates let us say you have one plate and another plate you're directly riveting on to that plate that time you call it as a lap joint but if you want to join the two ends of the plate okay so like this so you have two separate i mean you have the two plates and you want to join them exactly at their endings okay this is you called as this is what you call as a butt joint okay to use this you'll use another cover plate okay so this cover plate will help hold these two plates together so i think uh, this is a better example here so this is your lap joint you have one plate coming here and another plate coming here and they are mechanically held by this rivet okay and this is a butt joint you have the main plates that is two of it in here and they are joining exactly at their endings and to hold them together you have got these two cover plates and then you have your rivets okay so this will be the uh this will this will be your vertical view or uh, the front view and this will be your horizontal view uh, i mean i should not say use horizontal and vertical that plainly it is your top view and your front view okay so i think this is one example of where you are using a uh, lap joint rivet so if you consider as this is as one plate and this as another plate you have your rivets here okay and in aircraft industry you have got uh, many examples here so if you see this uh, uh fuselage coverings we'll use extensively we'll extensively use uh, rivets okay all these are rivets okay and then uh, you can just look for many examples for uh, butt joint and lap joints so that is the uh, where you use rivets and uh, these are some of the dimensions where a uh, rivet and how it should be designed is decided like how we had uh, you know like one parameter and using that parameter uh, we define the whole uh, dimension of that given uh, problem so in rivets for example in rivets the defining parameter is your thickness of the plate so this thickness you keep and from this thickness you derive the diameter of the rivet and keeping this diameter you will define all other parameters okay so let us design one in your solid edge the usual new metric metric draft okay and then sheet setup a4 background turn off okay and fit so now we have our sheet ready we'll go to sketching what we'll do we'll just first uh, we'll design a single line rivet okay for combining two plates 
of thickness nine mm. Just draw this and then take nine mm. All right. We'll we'll still draw the other plate, but first let us uh, do this part. So then we need to define the diameter. So the diameter is given by root of root thickness into 6 or else 6 root thickness sorry so that would be uh, let's see here so it is diameter is 6 root thickness so thickness is 9 so 6 6 root 9 is 18 so the diameter of uh, um, let us simply draw it again this is 9 that is two plates and now this diameter is 18 okay now we'll have to draw the arc okay or the rivet head again this is the shank so to draw the arc again take arc peg center and the arc has got a specific uh, uh, dimension okay so if you see here the arc is about point sorry 1.6 of the dia and the head is not equal to this it is about 0.7 dia so therefore your center point will not be on the point here sorry will not be on the line it should be a little bit insider okay so what you do you just you, uh, you can choose arc by center and you just go inside here okay and then from here arc by center above this you just draw an arc okay and tab and that diameter is about how much it is about 1.6 star or multiplied by 18 that is the diameter okay so just draw it over there and then what we know that this height here to here is about 0.7 of the diameter okay I think we didn't fix this so this is 0 0.6 1.6 into 18 okay now that is done but you need to place it exactly in the center so what we'll do we'll take uh, this distance once we'll take this okay so we just aligned those two points I think so I think it is in the center so let us cross verify once 14.4 okay it is correct okay now we have our butt joint sorry we now we have our rivet head and then the upper plate will be at an angle about minus uh, about 10 degrees so take it as minus 80 degrees and then connect it at here and then you can extend it to next extend to next extend to next that's got connected one more thing what we know is the distance between uh, okay the distance between the center point and here 
is about 1.5 times the diameter so 1.5 into 18 that should not do like that let us uh, fix this okay whatever value you get you just fix it 1.5 into 18 okay now we are done this is 18 we know lift it up take your mirror feature this upon this done now this plate you can extend it to whatever length you need bottom plate extend to next extend to next but this bottom plate dimension will again be constrained at 10 degree angle so this will be about 110 degrees okay 110 degrees that you take again this length is okay whatever length you take this is fine okay now one thing you need to maintain is the distance between this we'll fix this after fixing that we know the distance between this point and this point is 1.5 star 18 okay so I think it moved what we'll do we'll take another relation and then complete it this okay star 1.5 so now it is perfect and after that what you do is you trim this center and then you can delete all your dimensions okay now what you need to do is to show the top view select all move it to here and hatch it okay we'll hatch the plates take the first one at 45 degree and the next one at minus 45 degree okay now extend this plate line it is about here And this line is about here and here and here okay so since this is the top plate this line will be hidden this line will be visible so select these two lines and hide them okay so we know the biggest diameter So we know the head diameter is about 1.6 times of dia correct so 1.6 star 18 okay and we'll draw another circle and the hidden line will be the diameter itself so we'll take that this is 18 
18. Why not we extend this? Okay, we'll delete. Extend to next. Okay, and the distance between two successive rivets. Okay, that will be about uh, what is that dimension given by? That is your pitch, obviously. So that will be about 3D. So three times of diameter. So this point to this point 18 star 3 that is 54 okay move everything to the top then we'll draw another one I think we need to make this line and then extend it later on one is 18 with hidden lines and the other one would be solid that will be 18 times 1.6 done and distance between these two is 54 okay extend to next extend to next Okay, and we're done. We can delete this uh, excess points, which were is not necessary. So let us try uh, in, in the same diagram, but you guys don't do it. You just do it in another uh, sheet. I'll try to do the chain joint. So what we'll do is we'll just take this off. Let this point be fixed. Mm, we'll extend this okay and again this will extend so now what we know we just need to replicate this portion at this point so we know the distance between or the pitch uh, the distance between two rivets is about three times of the diameter correct so what we'll do we'll place this at three times the diameter is 54 54 half is about uh, 20 how much it would be 24 no, no, 54 up is 20 22 we'll do 54 by 2 sorry 27 okay 27 take this and mirror this feature okay done once you mirror it don't delete this line because if you delete this line the mirror feature will go just just keep it as it is we'll delete it later on because we need to fix this distance again the same thing take this about 110 degrees 
bottom. I think we'll draw it so much. Next end to next, next end to next. Now you can delete this center line. And we don't need this line. We don't need this line. We don't need this line. Fit. Hatchet. 45, 45. This is minus 45. Done. Now the extreme line from here. Still here. And you can extend it to next. Extend to next. Extend to next. And the hidden line one hidden line here the other hidden line here to here I think we could have simply mirrored it if the line what we drew was uh, and then keep that line again Okay, we have it. Now take these features. Mirror it about this axis. Okay, then you can delete the line. Select all of it. Move to the center. So this is your chain riveting okay one thing we need to do is we need to hide these lines okay this will be your chain riveting and there is one more called uh, zigzag riveting so in that zigzag riveting what happens is that we'll have one of these removed okay and this and this sorry Select these two and they will be moved to this line. I'll just draw one line here. Just can we use relation? else we'll do one thing this should be somewhere here okay so distance between this and this this two will be again half the pitch 27 so you moved it up, you want this to move, what we'll do, we'll take distance between this and this will be 27, or oh, it will fix something. We'll fix these two. These two is fifty seven. Okay. And this and this 
we already have it at 27 why not we fix these two then that will work Okay, now done. Okay, so this is your zigzag riveting. Okay. So if you want, this will be your chain riveting. You can save this. Save as, save as image. Chain riveting. This will be your zigzag riveting. The first one where we stopped was the single line rivet. So these are the three configurations which you need to write in your books as well as you, to, you need to do in your um, solid edge. Okay.